Hey guys, today I'm going to go through three of the top image generators out there today and rank them based off six criteria. I'll be ranking these based off the overall quality and resolution of the images, the speed at which the images are created, the comprehension of the model and what it's capable of creating, the interface and overall ease of use, the pricing of the generator, and finally, the extra features given by each specific model. Let's start with Dolly 3. Dolly 3 is used inside of the ChatGPT interface, meaning you have the plus side of just talking to your generator and revising your images, as if talking to another artist. Because of this, Dolly 3 is the only generator that will create prompts for you, if that's what you're looking for. Resolution is capped at 1024 by 1024, and you can generate in wide, square, or tall aspect ratios just by asking it. The speed is kind of slow, as it uses GPT-4 to generate each prompt, and then has to generate each image, so overall it takes around 2 minutes for a generation of 4 images. Dolly 3 is currently the best at comprehending your prompts and what you want. You can get really detailed with your prompting, and usually the images will stick to exactly what you want, though this does mean sometimes a less pretty image in favor of following your exact prompt. Dolly is very easy to use, even for your grandma, since it's built on a language model and she can just ask it in human language what she wants to see. ChatGPT Plus, which is the plan you'll be paying for for Dolly 3, costs 20 bucks a month currently. I believe there's a limit to how many images you can generate per hour, but I have yet to run into it. That's about it. No extra features or in-depth control with Dolly, you get what you see. I will add, Dolly 3 through ChatGPT is very locked down with its content policies. It blocks any type of public character or person, and refuses to generate when you ask it for those. There are ways around it, like by describing the character without naming them, but it is a hassle, and kind of puts walls around your creativity. Bing Image Creator, which is free and does use Dolly 3, is much less locked down at the time being, but only generates square images and doesn't use GPT-4. Uh, here's my overall ratings in each category for Dolly 3. Next, let's talk about Midjourney. Midjourney is currently on its version 5.2, and as far as quality is probably one of, if not the best of the bunch. In general, the beauty out of the box is, I think, the best, and it's pretty hard to get an ugly image with Midjourney. Midjourney has three modes of speed right now, relaxed, fast, and turbo. Depending on your plan, you'll have a specific amount of fast hours per month, and that basically means you'll be first in line of your image generating when you hit enter. Relax hours, use no fast hours, but you'll be behind a queue and it may take a bit longer for your generation to start. Once started though, both relaxed and fast hour generations will take around 45 seconds to a minute to generate. If you want, you can use turbo mode and generate at around 4 times the speed, so it'll take 10 to 15-ish seconds, but while using double the fast hours. MJ images are also 1024 by 1024 in resolution, like Dolly 3, although in the next week or so an upscaler is supposedly supposed to release increasing that resolution to double or maybe even triple the resolution, so keep an eye out for that. Midjourney V5. Comprehension levels are good, but not that of Dolly 3 yet. Especially when prompting detailed, there will often be things it fully misses, or will mix two things together that you don't want. I'll be waiting for version 6 in the coming months though, which will hopefully be much better at comprehension and all other categories. Currently the interface of Midjourney is probably the most confusing of the three, as it's done in Discord, although not too bad. It does come with the plus of a close community with other Midjourney creators, which may or may not be a plus for you. In the next month or so, they will be releasing a web version with image creation, so that gripe will be taken care of soon. The basic plan, which is 10 bucks a month, comes with a limited 200 generations per month. The step up from that is 30 bucks a month for 15 fast hours a month and unlimited relaxed hour generations. There are multiple tiers above this, which are more for advanced users slash companies. MJ has multiple extra features and controllability compared to Dolly 3. The dash dash chaos command varies the difference between your four generated images. The dash dash stylize command will up the beauty at the cost of possibly falling away from your prompt details. The dash dash weird command does what you expect. There is in-painting, out-painting, and panning through Discord interface. There is image prompting and remixing. You can batch generate multiple sets of images at once. You can also generate in any aspect ratio you want. And there are even more than that. I'd say Midjourney probably has the most extra features out of these three generators to help you get exactly what you want. Here's my overall ratings in each category for Midjourney. Now finally for Firefly 2, which just released. Quality seems quite good and very sharp, but that sharpness comes at the cost of a lot of mushiness and artifacts in the images I have generated. The resolution is the highest of the bunch though, at 2048 by 2048. You can also do tall, square, or wide aspect ratios with Firefly. It takes around 15 seconds for a batch of four images to generate with Firefly 2. Interface is, I would say, the best of the three. Super easy for someone new to image generation to understand. You have sliders and settings on the right for content type, style, effects, lighting, composition, and even photo specifications for photo-like images. The effects and content type is cool, but does seem like it's just adding keywords at the end of your prompt. Nothing too crazy behind the scenes. Comprehension seems that of the level of mid-journey. It'll miss things if your prompt is too detailed, but gets it right most of the time. You can use 25 free monthly generations with Firefly, or pay 5 bucks a month for 100 generations per month, which in my mind isn't worth it. It seems though if you have a subscription to an Adobe product, you have unlimited generations, as I have a Photoshop subscription and don't see a limit. The only extra features than what I've said really is the image reference, where it will try and be similar in some ways to a photo you input. Firefly 2 also has content policies similar to Dolly 3, 
and will not generate any copyrighted content, which again is quite annoying when it's well-known characters. Here's my overall ratings in each category for Firefly 2. Awesome. Well, I hope that helped you get a feeling for where the main generators are today, and their strong points. Of course it's AI, and it'll probably be completely different next month, thus this video being worthless, haha. But I hope you enjoyed.